Kim waited a hot minute to tell the world about what would be the hottest relationship in the world and had us all asking, what oh? Kim K and Pete are dating. It is out there. The dust has settled. We've all picked our jaws up off the ground. But let me tell you, we were in the dark for a while. What were Kim and Pete's reasons for keeping the whole thing so under wraps for so long? Did it have to do with Kanye? With the kids? With the show? I'm Eric Myrick and I'm gonna give you all the tea on why the relationship to end all relationships was such a huge secret for so long. See you going down. I think it's time for a nice little timeline of events, don't you think? The first few times we saw the future couple together seemed totally harmless. A rendezvous on SNL with a playful kiss, an awkward path crossing at Nobu in Malibu, but nothing that would hint that the pair had hit it off, until Kim's ex-hubby Kanye West started mentioning Pete in posts. Also, let's be honest, who could have seen this couple coming? We were all so reluctant to believe that these two could actually be dating that we even started to think that maybe Pete was just really good friends with Kim, the kind of friend who went on casual vacations to the Bahamas and took all of her pictures for her. Dark days. We truly were so lost. It could also be a case of Pete Davidson just being a super low-key guy. Off to a good start. <laughs> He barely even has social media, joining Instagram for the first time in years, only to delete it a month later. No! Kim seemed to love that and seems to be starting to fall in love with the low-key lifestyle. They spend a ton of time on Staten Island, where Davidson is from, and she's gushed about the off-the-grid date, saying, quote, Staten Island is an amazing place. We had so much fun going to Staten Island. I wanted to check it out. We take ferry rides everywhere. It's always been super low key. She continued to say, It's always been super low key every time we go to Staten Island. That's like the, the fun part of it. We can just chill and be low key and see all the fun like hometown stuff. Staten Island has surprisingly been so low key for us. Okay, Kim, loving a simple life. We see you, girl. But it also could be that it even hit her by surprise. The news of this relationship shocked the world and Kim seemed to admit that it even shocked her. She mentioned on the Making Space podcast that, quote, dating was the last thing that she was really planning on. Remember, it had only been 10 months since her divorce from Kanye, and it felt like we were hit every day with a new headline about drama between the ex pair. Kim noted that, quote, I think that, you know, sometimes things happen when you just least expect it. And so when it did happen, we were kind of like, oh my God, I wasn't planning on this. And it just makes it that much sweeter. I was like not even focused on that. And then when we kissed, I was just like, hmm. Really? Expect the unexpected, folks. Then of course, there's the family you have to think about. Kim Kardashian is the proud mom to four amazing kids and the aunt to about a dozen more. And the Kardashian lifestyle isn't always free of nasty drama. We saw that recently with Chicago's birthday party. Kanye insisted that he was denied the address to his daughter's birthday with a public video posted online. Yo, I'm just wishing my daughter a public right. happy birthday. I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. I'm, I'm not finna let this happen. And, and we're gonna be in real time take a slight with right this. Turn on. The feud went back and forth on the internet outshining Chicago's actual birthday. In fact, Kanye has made several remarks about Pete in the past, many of those remarks involving Kim and Kanye's kids. When he up and bought a house across the street from Kim, he said, quote, I'm hearing that the new boyfriend is actually in the house that I can't even go to, in the same breath as saying that security won't keep him from his kids. Dems is fighting words, man. I don't doubt that Kim is pretty eager to avoid more chaotic posts like that by keeping her dating life as private as possible. Remember, rule number one, folks, don't poke the bear. There is also the Hulu-sized elephant in the room. It is absolutely possible, even probable, that Kim's waiting to share deets about their relationship on social media because she was waiting to share all the goods on the new Hulu reality TV show, The Kardashians. It's reported that Kim's gonna go into detail about how Pete and the queen of the Kardashians met and how their relationship took off. Yeah, I talk about it on my show. I'll think I'll of be course. that girl and be no, like, Pete. you have to tune in. <laughs> First of all, all the details that we've been craving, Kim and the Kardashian clan have been keeping under wraps and have been promising a satisfying reveal for a reasonable monthly price of $6.99. But hey, maybe that's just me being a pessimist. One way or another, the era of Kim and Pete's secrecy is over. We're probably only a couple episodes away from all of the deets getting spilled 
and I know you'll be watching like a hawk. I'm Eric Myrick with The Things. Leave your thoughts on this match made in Staten Island in the comments below.